How long was your apprenticeship for? So why did you decide to be a tattoo artist? So what gets you excited about tattooing? Mac, how long have you been tattooing for? I have been uh, using a machine for about two years, but I've been officially tattooing for about a year now, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. You did your apprenticeship here? Yes, I did. Right. Yes, it did. Apprenticed under Tattoo Tony. How long was your apprenticeship for? Well, to afford the apprenticeship, you know, I had to work another job, so it took a, a little bit on the longer side, I would say, for me, compared to my uh, my fellow coworker RJ. I took about probably like close to a year and a half, and let me tell you, you know, like I said, it really was the best decision ever to apprentice with Tony. He taught me everything I know. So. So why did you decide to be a tattoo? Well, when I got out of high school, I went to Brookdale for a semester. I originally um, was a general ed, and then I switched to fine arts last minute. I took, like I said, one semester, and then I dropped out immediately. I knew school was not for me, so I knew that art was, it, it's what I've always known. I've been drawing since, I mean, I was, you know, able to move my arms. I, I would get in trouble in school for hogging the art supplies and the easel and wouldn't let out any other, other kids use it. Um, so it's what I know. After I dropped out of college, you know, I really, I, I knew I always wanted tattoos, but then that was the first time I really considered, oh, you know, like, what if I became a tattoo artist? Yeah, that's how I got into it. So what gets you excited about tattoo? Oh, so many different things. Just the fact that I'm able to, you know, you know, give my art to somebody, you know, permanently, that, you know, that's a huge, not only commitment, but that's a huge honor, you know, for people to give their rental or their real estate, you know, so. So what would you say is your style of tattoo? I try to be as versatile as I can, but anything traditional, whether it's American traditional, Japanese traditional, neo-traditional, I love it all. Anything whimsical, like whether it's fairies, you know, cottage core aesthetic stuff. So, you know, like toadstools, you know, all that kind of stuff I absolutely love. So if you had to pick one tattoo that you had to do the rest of your career, what would it be? That's hard, because I just I just love so many different kinds. I'd probably say florals, only because I, I can never get sick of flowers, and it's something that people will always want. So that's a safe answer. So being as though you're so new into the industry. Yes, I am. What would your advice be to someone that wanted to be a tattoo artist? Getting started is the hardest step of getting into tattooing, and it will test you if you really want this, because if you're unsure, don't do it. If you know in your blood that this is something that you need to do, not want to do, then all for it, go for it. Invest your full self into it. Do not hold yourself back in terms of creative ability. Try different mediums. I, you know, that's what I've learned here. You know, I, I feel like before I worked here um, and apprenticed properly, you know, I feel like I was using the same mediums. You know, now I use, you know, different art supplies that I didn't even consider buying, you know, so. It teaches a lot, you know, definitely be willing to have an open mind if you're going to get into tattooing. It, it'll test you, so if you want to get into to it, it definitely will test you. So if somebody walks in here with a unique piece that maybe doesn't fall in your wheelhouse, how do you handle that? Honestly, um, you know, I kind of just, you know, give them a rundown of like, you know, what I, you know, would do in terms of like a take and if they're not into it, then I would suggest, you know, maybe other artists here, you know, that might be more of their wheelhouse. But yeah, I would just simply say, you know, just do more research on the kind of style you like and find an artist that, you know, suits you. So how do you handle someone, let's say a difficult client? Um, diff Difficulty in terms of like what? In terms of like when I'm working on them and they're moving a lot or if they're just being a pain in the ass from the get-go. How about both? Okay. Um, well, if they're honestly just right off the bat, you know, if they're, you know, if the vibe is not there or, you know, if they're just being a pain, I try to be as gentle as possible because I know at the end of the day, everybody goes through some shit that I don't know about. Nonetheless, though, if people are just straight up disrespecting me or if they cross a boundary, that is when I will get more firm or it really will be rare if I turn down a client. Like, you really have to do something messed up for me to be like, all right, man, I can't help you. I try, all I would say, you know, if clients being difficult just try to hear them out just try and you know if it doesn't work out at the end of the day if you know that you did your best to try to work with them that's all you can do in terms of a client moving a lot just hold their shit down <laughs> that, yeah, that's it so do you have an instagram account yes i do it is the mac who tats that is what I go by. <laughs> what would you say is your favorite part about tattoo? My favorite part is at the very end when my client sees it and they genuinely feel better about their body now because of what I did. That's why I tattoo is frank. Not only because do I love art and it's my way of expressing it and able to 
enable art into a career. When I have people that feel better about themselves because of something I did, it, it makes me feel like a whole like million dollars. So how do you stay up on current trends? As much as social media might be difficult to maintain, you have to at least, you know, have a grasp on what is, you know, trendy in terms of what apps people are using. A lot of people use Instagram. A lot of people use Pinterest for, you know, like in terms of like tattooing or looking for, you know, inspiration. I would definitely say keep up with um, whatever is trending on Explorer pages, you know, on different, you know, social medias like Instagram. That's how I would, you know, approach that. Honestly, just download all of, you know, like whatever social media apps we have out there and put your shit out there. If you're not posting, you're not gonna get anywhere. So if somebody wanted to get a tattoo done with you, what's the best way to get in touch with you? My Instagram, at the Mac Who Tats. My email, mac at undermyskinshop.com. Or um, I have a Facebook, it's just my name, Mac Allen. Yeah, I would say that, that would be the best, besides calling Under My Skin. Is there anything I didn't ask you that you feel like I should have, or something else that you wanna bring up about yourself or the industry? No. Um, I don't think so. I mean, I think you, you've covered a pretty good amount, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> awesome. I appreciate you doing this for me. Thank you. And uh, if anybody wants to get in touch with Mac, make sure you reach out on Instagram or the shop. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Thanks so much for doing this. Absolutely. Thank you. If you like this video, click the link above.